Have you ever seen Quantum Superposition painted by Picasso? Or how about Buzz Lightyear painted by Basquiat? Or maybe even a Van Gogh painting of Jesus playing volleyball? These were made using an AI system called DALL-E 2. DALL-E 2 is an AI project by the company OpenAI that takes text descriptions and turns them into realistic images that have never been created before. Like Rick and Morty riding a lightsaber rocket ship. Now I've been fortunate enough to be given access to the technology, so in today's video I'll be talking about my experiences with the technology, a little bit more about how it works and the history behind it, and also my thoughts as well on the future of creating images using text. But before we get into it, if you don't know, I'm Des Cole, this is KBFL. If you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Now let's get into the video. Now first of all, how did we even get here? Text-to-image AI models are not brand new. In fact, researchers at large tech companies like Google and Facebook have been developing text-to-image tools already, they're just not public yet. And there are other smaller companies like Midjourney who also offer similar models in the open source arena. Back in 2015, AI was already able to take an image and write out a cohesive sentence from it, given the alt text of the image. So the obvious next step was to flip that model and try it the other way. Now it is definitely as difficult as it sounds. Researchers had to train deep learning AI models to filter through millions and millions of images and figure out how they all related to each other. Not only that, but they wanted the AI to create images that had never been created before. So as you can imagine, the AI started off pretty slow, having to filter through all of the characteristics that make, say, a toilet a toilet and an elephant an elephant. So the researchers behind this technology released a paper in 2016 showing the potential for this technology, and back then the images would come up very low quality. But in January 2021, the original DALL-E was released. And just a year later, the technology has exponentially progressed through better resolution, better comprehension, and new capabilities. Like in painting, where you can edit images after they've been generated just by simply editing the description. You can even start with your own image as an input, and with any image you generate, you can create variations of that image with new styles and looks. Now since I have access to Dolly 2, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what it's like to actually use the AI. If you'd like to sign up for the waitlist for Dolly 2, I'll leave a link in the description so that way you can do that. But anyways, let's check it out. All right guys, so this is what Doll E2 looks like. Up in the corners, we have access to our collection and access to the homepage. And then in the top right corner, we have access to our account information and also access to the recent generated content that we've made using the AI. Another point I'd like to make before I keep going is that if you get accepted to the waitlist, then you get 50 free initial credits, and then you get 15 free every month after that. And to make it even better, to buy credits, it's only $15 for 115 and scales up proportionally every $15, another 115 credits. And so you can see how... Uh, Scary affordable, that is. Now, a credit will get used any time that you generate an image, you edit an image, or you vary any of your images. Any of those three generations will cost you only one credit. But coming to the main page, I'll just show you guys how it works. It's actually pretty simple. On the home page, you also have all of these other pieces of art that if you hover over, you can see the prompt that was used to make the image just to give you a little bit of inspiration as you go and build out your own. But while we're here, why not make one together? All right, so maybe let's do something super random like a 3D rendering of a firefighter walking on the Pacific Ocean. Let's see what that does. So as you can see here, it loads, it takes maybe 10 to 20 seconds um, and then you'll see what it comes out with. And there it is. This is what it gave us, a 3D rendering of a firefighter walking on the Pacific Ocean. So what you could do from here, if you like the images, you can save them. This button will save it to your collection. You can share them with other people and make your account uh, public and people can see your account. You can also do some of the other things that I had mentioned earlier in the video where you can edit the image do you guys see this reflection in the water? Like that is, that is something else. But anyways, you can edit the image from here. You can do the variations. I mean, I might as well just show you. So if I hit variations, 
Then as you can see, Dolly 2 will create three new images based on the original image that you give it. And then from here, you can go ahead and hit save. You can variate this one, you can edit this one. As you can see, the possibilities are literally endless. All right guys, so that was just a little sneak peek into what you can do with Dolly 2. If you're somebody who is highly creative and loves to try new things and be on the cutting edge of technology, then I highly recommend that you go in the description and click the link to sign up for the waitlist. But before I let you guys go, I'd like to just make a little comment about where we're going with this whole AI art thing. I mean, I've showed it to a few people and I've literally from two people heard, doesn't this ruin art? And if you're starting to think that too, then I'm here to tell you, please don't. It's a reoccurring habit of ours as humans to demonize the new thing and romanticize the old thing. I actually learned recently that when canvas art came out, they said that it wasn't real art because it wasn't painted on a building and only real art was painted on buildings. Also, when television shows came out, movie actors didn't regard television actors as real actors. So in the same way, when a human uses some AI to make art, then we're quick to say, that's not real art or that's going to ruin the thing I love as art. So please don't think that this ruins anything. Even though some people's talents and occupations might be at risk because of this new technology, I think it's up to us as humans to evolve with our technology and not fight against it. So let's use this power to inspire others around us, create beautiful things, and create things that have never been seen before. So again, if you're somebody who loves to be creative, I highly recommend that you sign up for the waitlist for Dolly 2. I promise that you won't be disappointed. Thank you guys again for joining me on another episode of KBFL Different. If you found value or enjoyed this video at all, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Different channel as we'll be dropping more videos around how to be our best selves in this world. So if you're with that, come and join us. I'm your boy Des Cole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.